2v2 Double Elixir Challenge has got to be the most challenging competition that Supercell has put out. If not for the actual gameplay, then for the mental game that is involved in that. It is a daring feat that at the end lies a legendary chest. Did I do it? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Holy cow, this 2v2 mode is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, oh my gosh. First of all, number one, of course, you have the 2v2 draft. Um, which is hard enough as it is because, I mean, you're going, you get your draft, and you got another teammate or whatever. Number two, I mean, it's double elixir. So everything is twice as fast, twice as crazy, so it's absolutely nuts on the course, of course. And number three, of course, you have to deal with teammates that you do not know. Uh, teammates that you don't have no idea what they're thinking. Oh my gosh, dude. So check this out. We're going to go through this thing. Uh, the legendary... I am going to open up... The, okay, so sweet. I got this legendary chest. Um, I am going to open this thing up at the very end. So if you guys want to just skip to that, then whatever. <laughs> but if you guys want to see the battle of two unsuspecting allies surpassing insurmountable odds then go ahead and keep watching because we're going to go through a few of these battles here check this out if you want to look back to where i started basically um i started right here so i started with a loss the very first one was a loss and then i won two in a row and then i lost again so i started out this challenge two and two and then we went with okay i'm gonna give some shout outs here bjorn ironside have you guys ever seen vikings anyway sweet show uh bjorn Iron ironside so i'm like dude i'm gonna play because it's bjorn you know because i was about ready to throw the challenge reset but no i played kept on playing kept on playing dude holy got seven battles in a row check that out some shout outs will go our way to freddy mr justine xyz fuzzy nme nick bjorn ironside of course um, not so much to pipe, whatever. Dylan's got a shout out, Dandy, and then of course my man at the very top. Uh, shout out to him. <laughs> I don't know his name, dude. I'm so sorry. I can't figure it out. Anyway, we're gonna watch a couple of these things. Um, let's watch number eight because number eight was a little bit scary. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this on double speed. Uh, through the draft, I was not real sure about the draft because. <laughs> I did give him the Dark Goblin, and I did go ahead and give him the Lava Hound. Usually you want the tanks, okay? Um, but I already had some good stuff. I had the balloon. I was ready to go with that. Um, we're facing Mr. Robin Full here, and this is Freddy. Freddy D, okay? I like Freddy. He's rocking my world right now. Um, so they start out with a pretty strong push in the back. They got the Lava Hound coming our way, along with the Royal Giant, of course. They got the Wizard, so I go ahead and Lightning, but unfortunately... <laughs> I missed the the the, uh, the the wizard, which is very unfortunate. So I'm like, it's over. This is it right now. Look at this push they got coming our way. They got a P.E.K.K.A. They got everything. Luckily, the giant skeleton. Giant skeleton is clutching this, by the way. So many troops on the map. If you need a giant skeleton to put a bomb down. So this is point. At this point, I decide to go the other lane. You see, I rush with the balloon there. Absolutely clutch play. Uh, the balloon gets in there. We smoke it down. Basically got a fireball within taking that tower out. So we're happy about that. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a fireball. Oh, I have poison. That's what I had. Okay. So they're coming back in here, dude. So I poison that tower. I'm like, I'm going to take out that furnace. I'm going to take out that uh, tower. We're just going to knock that out. We're barely ahead. And then we get behind right there again. And then we're back and forth. We lightning, we poison. We get a golem on the tower a little bit. The little golemite pops. And we're able to do so many things in there. So I throw a sneaky balloon in there with some darts. Take out the princess. Balloon gets there with the poison. We knock that tower out. <sighs> stressful, dude. Very stressful, okay? <laughs> Just going over it. Uh, with the 2v2 mode on is stressful enough, okay? So it's absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's get into this this last battle here. We might have to watch this a little bit slower because it was so crazy, dude. So I'm sitting here and I take, I want the splash, I do. Okay, I know the Dark Globin is clutch, but I want the splash damage. And I see that, okay, so I, sh I should have taken the rocket there. 
Now, this was the biggest decision in the game. I was very, I was kind of like, dude, why did you take the mortar over the expo? So I'm sitting here looking at his cards, and I'm like, well, I got to be able to get in there and smash that expo. So I'm like, I'm going to take the prince, okay? So I take the prince here. I got to be able to rock that thing. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead. I, I don't know what to do here. Fire, spark, fire spirits are so hard to land sometimes, especially with so much going on, that usually it just goes up against a tank or whatever. And I'm like, dude, I'm just going to take the ice spirit. That way I can freeze him. Um, so, I think that was him. No, that was me that dropped the witch. I dropped the witch. Uh, so, we got two witches, which is kind of a, a bad thing here. We're going to check out their cards here right now, too. Um, so, we dropped two witches. Of course, he's going to fireball the crap out of that thing with his wizard. He'll clean that up really nicely. I throw a hog in the other lane. Get down there. Get basically no damage. So, right now, not playing super, super stellar. We're just hoping for the best here. They throw a barrel. I'm like, dude, are you throwing a barrel on the King Tower? No? Okay. Threw it right on Barbarian Hut. I'm like, okay, that's okay. <laughs> I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, I thought you were going for the King Tower for a second there. Anyway, they got a whole bunch of action going there. <laughs> because I saw him throw it on the Barbarian Hut, <laughs> the Barb Hut, I threw my Goblin Barrel on the uh, Expo. I thought that'd be sweet. Anyway, so they got a Mega Bindi coming in. I throw an Ice Golem to distract. I uh, didn't really need it because the Barbarians were distracted. So, kind of a waste of Ice Golem there. But when you're playing Double Elixir, you know everything's crazy. So they're fireballing in here. They're starting to cycle fireballs right now. Okay, so they're already cycling. And they got us down pretty good on damage. I'm going for this other tower over here. They fire Spirit, but we did get a bit of damage with that Goblin Barrel. Super happy about that. They drop a Giant at the bridge with the Wizard to defend. We're in a little bit of a pickle because the wizard's just going to take all our barbs out. And we didn't have much. Luckily, his mortar shot went and took care of those goblins real quick. So we are happy. I was super happy about that, okay? I got... Nope. Didn't have a prince on the map. I never used prince, really. So <laughs> I was hoping the prince would go in there and take that bomb tower out. Because <laughs> bomb tower with their expo was super annoying. So at this point, I realized, okay, this is the point in the match. Let's pause it right here. This is the point in the match where I'm like, dude... They got some pretty good defenses. They got Expo, Furnace, Bomb Tower, okay? I'm like, dude, I'm going to have to start cycling like crazy. So I decided to start throwing that fireball down, and it starts to work. So watch how many times I throw this fireball down. I'm starting to cycle fireballs like crazy, because that's that's the point when you know you can start doing it. Witch goes in there, gets demolished. They have a monster push coming in. Lava Hound, Giant Skeleton, and <laughs> Mega Knight. Mega Knight gets taken out finally. Luckily, he had the mortar that was really good at distracting troops. And I here, here I go with another fireball. Just fireball, fireball, fireball. And they're going to rock it. So we know that tower's gone. So pretty much we're going to abandon that tower at this point. Which, that makes sense. And I keep throwing. That's Goblin Barrel. Boom, 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 boom. Gets smoked. Fireball. Another fireball. Okay, he's starting to cycle too. So that works out really well. They take the tower out. Which, we knew that was going to happen. I'm not too concerned about it. We're going to pump this in here. Okay, so we got... <laughs> we got Pekka, dude. Pekka's rocking it, dude. Pekka's excellent in this this challenge, just because so many people are rocking those big tanks. Golub, you're rocking the uh, the Mega Knight, so Pekka does pretty good. We're up a little bit on damage. I'm like, dude, how are we still in this game? I thought we were smoked, dude. That very first push they had coming in. Now look at this push they have coming. All that stuff, dude. They got Lava Hound on the tower, locked on. Drops Giant Skeleton in the middle. I'm just like, dude, okay, so I have to fireball all that away. I wasn't able to throw the fireball at the tower that time. Took care of business. All right, they got a deep goblin barrel, which I think was a big mistake for them. They should have threw that right on the tower. We had nothing to defend. So I throw a goblin barrel that way with a fireball, get a little bit of damage. Did you see I missed the fireball on the tower there? I bet I got the expo. Dropped the Mega Knight right in the center there. Mega Knight's gonna go to town, okay? Mega Knight with the P.E.K.K.A. We have two witches. They dropped their Mega Knight on ours, which, that was an excellent play on their part. Clutch Fireball on their part. Holy cow. They got a lot of Hound on the tower. A little bit concerned about, but the Goblin Barrel keeps cycling. The Goblin Barrel and the Fireball, dude. We've got their tower down to 718. At this point, I'm like, we can pull this out, dude. Look how close we are. So, Fireball again. Boom, boom. Goblin Barrel. <laughs> the Goblin Barrel just nailed it. That was win number nine, dude. Win number nine. Oh, man, with... So excited, okay? So excited, dude. I, I'm not even kidding you. I, dude, I am so jacked up about this. I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. It has been forever 
since I uh, have won a challenge <laughs> like that. So, I do have crown chest, free chest, gold chest. I got a clan chest. We're going to open the crap up with all these things as soon as we open this legendary chest. Hopefully, hopefully, we unlock something pretty sweet. I think, of course, I'm hoping for the Mega Knight. I do not have him unlocked yet. Uh, he is released now, so I can get him in this chest here, which... Heck yeah, dude. Hope, hoping for the best. So let's hope for the best right here, right now. <laughs> We're going to unlock this chest and <sighs> hopefully it's something sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Show me the money. What do we got? What do we got? Is it going to get it? Is it going to get it? Yes! Okay. That's awesome. Okay. I didn't know. Oh, man. I didn't know if the Mega Knight was guaranteed or not, but that is awesome, dude. This, that means do have all the cards in it. <laughs> That's good again. That was way easier than the Mega Knight Challenge. Way easier than the Mega Knight Challenge. Although, way more difficult too. There was a ton of uphill battles with all those teammates. That was nuts. Uh, Mega Knight, I'll take it. I will 100% take that dude. Super jacked up about that. Uh, might as well, yeah, let's screenshot that thing. Might as well, just for fun. Because that's cool. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> but, oh, and we got ourselves a tournament chest here. Uh, this is going to be pretty rad, guys. Hold on to your seats, because this one's going to give us some sweet stuff. We got a Goblin Barrel. That is the saver of the day. Holy cow. I'll tell you what, that Goblin Barrel came in handy. Let's go ahead. Let's open it up in this order. We got some free chests. <laughs> We're going to hit those up. We got ourselves Fatty Gold Chest, of course. We're going to definitely open that up. And we got ourselves a crown chest, which who doesn't love a crown chest in the morning with the golem? Okay, 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 okay. And then we got ourselves a clan chest. Yeah, clan chest. That's what this is. All right, come on. Hoping for something sweet. I haven't gotten anything in the last 18 clan chests. We got this day one. Okay, we got this clan chest on Friday. So super excited about that. Good job, team. No. <laughs> we got no legendary love in the clan chest, guys. That's okay. 100% okay with what I got today. The Mega Knight was definitely more than enough to make make up for everything. That was awesome, dude. So excited. Holy cow. So excited. Let's go check him out. Oh, man, he looks good. He looks so good. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. Um, uh, if you like what you shot, be sure, be, sure, be sure and subscribe. Take it easy. Oh, dude, watch the video. Oh, my gosh. Watch yesterday's video. The Night Witch's staff, if you haven't seen it already, dude, that video is bomb. Dude, that video turned out so good. That staff was, like, awesome, okay? Be sure and watch that video. Um, take it easy, guys, and good luck.